Hello everyone, and Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas! I'm really in the Christmas spirit this year, and I'm, I'm really happy about that. You know, a couple years ago I was, I was just thinking, yeah, I, I don't want to get really Christmassy, because you always get that weird feeling after, after Christmas, when it's like halfway through January, and you're like, oh, it's all over now, and you get that weird feeling that's like, uh, what is it like? It's like, it's like nostalgia mixed with grief, I suppose, <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, Christmas is over, and I was like, yeah, I don't really want to get Christmassy, because then I won't feel that feeling, but th but this year, I, I was just thinking, I was I was being stupid, and I'm, get and I'm getting really Christmassy this year, and I'm getting really in the Christmas spirit, I am really, really, really happy this year, really happy about Christmas. Oh, it's so good. It's not actually Christmas at the, at the time I'm recording this video. It's only the, the uh, 17th today, I think. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm probably gonna be really busy over the next week or so, so I won't have enough time to make a video. But I wanted to make a video not just to say Merry Christmas, but because I want to talk a little bit about um, what's coming on the channel next year. A lot of which I've already said, but I, I just want to clarify it. And the reason I'm doing it now is because I'm not gonna have enough time at the start of the year because things are gonna be starting straight from the get-go. The 1K sub-special Mash Bandicoot is gonna be coming on New Year's Day. And I'm really excited for that, and I hope you guys are excited for that too. It's it's been so much fun making that, and uh, probably more fun than any any other video I've made on this channel. It, it's just it's just been such a thrill. It's been a sort of different experience. I mean, you know when I when you watch it that it it is while it is pretty much the same as my other videos. It, it I have like tried out different things. That you, you'll see what I mean in there anyway. But anyway, speaking of the uh, 1K sub special, a lot of people have been saying now that the channel's reached well over 4,000 subscribers, people have been saying like, oh, you should change it to 4K sub special or 5K sub special. So I'm just going to clarify now. I'm not doing that. It's going to be the 1K sub special. It's to commemorate when the channel reached 1,000 back in March. And I know it's taken a long time, but it's still the 1K sub special. You know, technically 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, they're equally significant as 1,000, but 1,000 is the first thousand. It's the first time we've got a thousand. So I did a 100 subspecial, I'm going to do a 1,000 subspecial, and I probably won't do another subspecial until we reach 10,000, if we ever do. Although a lot of you guys have been saying yeah, we'll definitely reach 10,000, it's just a question of when, which is really nice. But yeah, I've had lots of fun making that, and it's kind of sad that it's over now. Well, it's technically over. I mean, I mean, I've been working on this video so long. I mean, it's been I've been planning it since I finished Five Nights at Foster's, and that was back in April. So that's eight months, nine months, something like that. Eight, eight or nine months working on one video. That's a long time, but it's been so much fun. And while I, yes, I am kind of sad that it's over now, I'm happy knowing that now I can start on new things because. I've been, I, I have been like wanting to start on new things for a while, but I've just kept thinking, no, I, I, I really want to finish this first. And it's not like I've been forcing myself to do it or anything. I've had so much fun doing this. And I, I'm really glad I have, because um, I realised part way through making this that I need to have fun while I'm doing this. And I don't want it just to be a case of I'm focusing on the, the end result, the, the outcome, once it's actually uploaded and I get the feedback from all you guys and the appreciation and the... Well, I mean, I hope I would. I mean, I'm not saying, oh, I'm expecting good feedback or anything like that. But um, I realised that I, I needed to appreciate it and I needed to have fun with it while I was making it. Otherwise, it would just be eight months of stress for about a week of satisfaction. And that's, that's, that's not worth it. That's really not worth it. You'll notice, well, I, you might notice, you'll probably notice when you watch it that it's it's slightly different because I've I've just done what I want. I mean, there's some parts where there's like complicated uh, masking and, and backgrounds and audio and cutting effects. And while they were fun to do, they were kind of stressful. So apart from that, there's a lot of scenes which are just completely random. They don't make any sense. They're just things I have done for the hell of it just because I wanted to have fun doing it. So I just, I mean, not to say I didn't have fun doing the other bits, because I, I was talking to my sister about this the other day, about how um, making YouTube poops, or, or, or making any videos, any anything you make that like you show to the world, it's got to be fun while you're doing it, because you can't just focus on the end result. And I was saying like how most things in life have, have, have the two stages. They have the stage where you're creating it, or the, or the stage where you're doing it, and the stage when it's over. And most things, you only get the, the pleasure or the satisfaction from one of those. Something like doing a piece of homework, it's not fun while you're doing it, well it might be fun to some people, but I'm sure for most people it's not fun while you're doing it, but then once it's done you can feel relaxed that it's it's over and you're going to get the good grades and stuff. Well, not just from one piece of homework, but you know what I mean. And then there's other things like um, having a holiday, where you enjoy the holiday while it's happening, but then while it's over, while you, yeah, you've got the good memories and stuff, it, you don't get the same experience and you're kind of sad that it's over. And and my sister said um, eating fast food, because fast food is nice when you're eating it, but then once it's over, you, you know, you're gonna get fat. <laughs> 
and there's not many things that give you the pleasure from both of those stages, but creating videos like YouTube Poops does. And it, if it doesn't, then you need to change that or stop doing it. I mean, that's, that's, that's what's been like reassuring me and keeping me motivated while doing this. Just knowing that I've got to have fun making this and not just think about uh, the, the satisfaction I'm going to get when it's done. And you, you know, you hear a lot of people say that you shouldn't make YouTube poops for other people. You should make them purely for yourself, but I don't particularly agree with that. I mean, yes, I agree with the part that you've got to enjoy it yourself, but I'm not just going to like shut out you guys and say I really don't care what you think I made this for myself. Because I did make it for you guys as well as for myself. And I'm really glad that I've got that mentality now because now I can get the satisfaction from both parts, from creating it and from getting the feedback from you guys when it's done. And I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to make some kind of philosophical message. I mean, I, I just realized I've been talking for ages about this one thing and it wasn't even what I wanted to make the video about. But I think uh, if you're missing the satisfaction from one of those stages, then you, you should probably try and change it. If you're just getting the satisfaction from creating it and then once it's done you don't care about it anymore and you don't care what anyone says about it, then yeah, that m might be alright for you but it's, it's not alright for everyone else and you've got to consider them as well. And maybe you should try and interact with your audience a bit and, and cater a bit towards them, not, not so much, not, not so that you have to completely change what you're doing and make it purely for your audience. You've got to like even it out and if it's... The fact that you're not enjoying creating this video, you're just thinking, oh, I just got to get this video done so that I can upload it to YouTube and then I get the comments and then people will tell me that they like it and then I'll feel satisfied then. Then if you're missing the satisfaction from one of those stages, then you should probably do something to change it. Either that or, or try something completely different. I mean, I'm not saying like you should just stop doing it if you're not doing it my way or anything like that. I'm just saying it's something to consider, I suppose. You've really got to enjoy creating it as well as the feedback. And you've also got to enjoy the feedback just as much as creating it. So yeah, that, that's, that's all I wanted to really say on that. I, d I didn't mean to go on a, on a big philosophical rant. The reason I actually wanted to create the video was um, because I wanted to say uh, some of the things that I'm going to be doing next year, most of which you already know because I already explained about it. You know, I'm going to be doing a bigger variety of videos. I'm going to be doing some animation, going to be doing some music, some more music. Obviously, I uploaded that piece of music a couple months ago, the Entermission one, and I did that Undertale remix. And uh, speaking of the, uh, the first one, the one that I actually properly composed myself, I was really happy that people actually liked that because, you know, I said in the description that this was just an, an old piece of music that I made a while ago that I wasn't particularly happy with. And the fact that people really liked it was was re a really nice feeling, just knowing that uh, if people like what I hate, then surely people are going to love what I think is good. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. So yeah, there's going to be music in various places. I'll just do it when, uh, when I feel like it. I'm not going like, to um, come up with any kind of schedule or anything or have any kinds of plan to do it because you can't plan to make music because music... I mean, yeah, you can plan music, but you can't just plan like, okay, this day I'm going to make music. It doesn't happen like that. Other things like animation, I'm going to do more animation this year. I'm gonna, I really want to do that um, Jacksepticeye animation that I talked about. I, I will do that the uh, Chunky Mark animation sometime, but I really want to do the Jacksepticeye animation first because I, I've been wanting to, I, I've really, I really, really want to get back into animation. About that, I, I'm actually going to get a load of plasticine for Christmas because I, I, I asked for it so that I can um, maybe do some stop motion animation in the future because that, that'd be fun. I've done, I've done a bit in the past, but I, I just, I really, really want to get back into animation because it's been so long since I've done any and I really think I can do it much better than I ever have. So yeah, the Jacksepticeye animation, that will, that, I, I want to start working on that as soon as possible really. So um, after the, the 1K sub special Masked Bandicoot, after that there'll be a couple extra videos sort of relating to Masked Bandicoot. But then once that's done, I'm going to be working straight on the Jacksepticeye animation. So that will probably be done in like uh, maybe end of February. I, I, I really don't know how long <laughs> it's going to take. I mean, it, it's only going to be like two or three minutes. It's not It's not going to be as long as a YouTube poop, but it's not it's not the same as making a YouTube poop because, you know, you've got to design all the, the backgrounds, the characters, all the movements have all got to be done by you. You're not taking clips or anything else. So I suppose in that sense, it's going to take longer, but then it's sort of done in a different way. So it might actually not take that long, especially because I know I pretty much know exactly what I want to do for that already. You know, with YouTube poops, I, I, I've like had, I've had a sort of idea and then I put it together and then I change my ideas and I think actually I want to do it this way, I want to do it this way and I want to uh, change things. Some things don't work, I go back and I do different things. But I think with the animation, you know, I've got it, <laughs> I've got it how I want it, I'm going to do it like that. So yeah, that that that, what, that might be uh, February or something, it might be March, I really don't know how long that's going to take. It should only take really about a month because it's only two or three minutes. And then after the animation, 
I may start working on the gameplay videos because I, I want to get a lot of stuff set up over Christmas to start doing that. I mean, I, might, I may start that even sooner. I mean, it, it depends how well it goes. You know, like I said before, this is really just sort of me experimenting with different types of videos. Nobody's going to like all of it. You know, you're not, you're not going to like everything. There are going to be some parts of it that you don't like, and that's perfectly fine. If you are subscribed to this channel and you just want to watch YouTube poops and nothing else, that's fine. And maybe I could like bring in people who like animation and then maybe they'll just watch the animation but they might discover YouTube poops from that and then they might go off and watch other people's YouTube poops. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying this because like I just want more people on the channel so I do more types of videos to bring in more people. I'm, I'm thinking of it more like it's a way to help people discover different genres of videos. But then I'm not, I don't want to just be like I'm the crossroads point <laughs> or anything like that. I mean, I've explained all this already, I don't, I don't need to explain it all again. I mean, you all get my reasoning behind it now. So I, I don't need to uh, go into detail. Uh, so yeah, the, the gameplay videos, they might, I don't know when they'll be. They could be any time, they could be tomorrow. Well, no, they won't be tomorrow, but sometime next year, sometime after January. Maybe before the animation, maybe after the animation, I, I don't know. Yeah, in terms of like the actual games, I was thinking just to do like a few random videos, you know, not like full professional looking Let's Plays or anything like that. I mean, maybe I could get to that point eventually, but I want to do some videos on Crash to Insanity and Spyro 2 and just do some like glitch videos because I found so many glitches. Anyone who's played Crash to Insanity knows that that game is full to the brim with glitches. And uh, Aspyro 2 has got a lot of glitches as well, I mean none that you'd really encounter while just playing through the game normally, but it's definitely the glitchiest game out of the original Spyro trilogy. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just do a couple of videos on them. Maybe I'll try doing a, like a, a playthrough of another game. I don't know, we'll just we'll just try things out and you know, it might turn out terribly. I'm not I'm not expecting it to be good. It might it might be so terrible that I don't even bother uploading it, but I, I probably will because I, I do want to get your 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 feedback on it because that would be helpful. But you know, if I'm not enjoying it then I'm not gonna do it. The same it's the same it's the same with YouTube poops. If I wasn't enjoying it then I wouldn't do it. Oh my voice just broke while I was talking. So yeah, animation, music, gameplay videos. Um, in terms of YouTube poops, you know that there's going to be the two sequels this year, Ripto's Races 2 and Five Nights at Foster's 2. Obviously, Ripto's Races 2 isn't going to be called Ripto's Races 2 because it probably have nothing to do with Ripto. It's going to be on Spyro 3, but it's going to be a sort of related sequel. I mean, I haven't got that planned out at all. <laughs> I've got some ideas for, for it, and I still don't know which one I'm going to do first. I keep thinking, yeah, I'll do Ripto's Racist 2 first because Ripto's Racist was older, and it, it should have a sequel sooner than Five Nights at Foster's because that was only this year. It'll probably be over a year old by the time that's done, but I really don't know which one I'm going to do first. And then after that, I did say to somebody that I was thinking about doing a Madagascar YTP, but uh, that's not a definite thing and the reason that's not a definite thing is because apart from the things I've said already I don't want to plan anything because I don't want to just like have a year all planned out and then just like go through it because then it's just like oh I'm just doing the same thing going through what I've planned when does it end and I don't ever ever want it to feel like that it doesn't feel like that at the moment but I, I have a feeling that if I keep planning things way ahead of time then it will feel like that so you know um, yeah those four things I've said those are definitely coming I'm not I'm not gonna stress myself out about them they're not anything I'm forcing myself to do just because I promised you guys I would do it but everything else is just gonna be completely spontaneous and that's sort of like the reasoning behind the new variety of videos is because I don't ever want to get bored of doing something so like if I'm working on a YouTube poop and I'm just thinking I'm getting a bit bored of this then I could just start working on a piece of music or just work on a gameplay video or like if I'm working on some music I'm just thinking I can't get this to sound right then just start doing some random animation or just do the more variety I have the, the less bored I'm gonna get because I can just go to something else when I get bored of one thing and then come back to it when I'm not and that's a good system I, well I think it is because you know even though I do like kind of having things planned out and having things on a schedule and stuff like that I want it to be more spontaneous I don't want to just get to the point where I'm like oh yeah I'll do this today and I have to get this done by today I'm just like writing it down in my head and I'm just like yeah get that done today then we'll do that tomorrow and then that has to be done by that so I need to do that then I don't want it like that anymore I need some more freedom <laughs> with this because otherwise it's gonna stress me out and I don't want it to stress me out and it might sound like it to you like while I'm saying this this is it's not stressing me out at the moment it's just me talking about it is stressing me out because I'm thinking I'm gonna get stressed out if I keep going down this road so that's why I'm gonna be doing things more spontaneously just a, a bigger variety just doing things when I want to and, and speaking of like schedules and things you may have noticed like in the past couple months or so I've been uploading videos every Friday and that's because I was that was sort of an experiment thing to see if I could work on a schedule thing like videos every Friday every week and you know while I could stick to it I, there was like there's times like with um 
Humpty or Balls where there's just like random videos that I just make because I, it gets to like Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday and I'm just like, oh my god, I have to get a video out on Friday and I don't know what to do so I just make something stupid. And you know, yeah, while those videos were appreciated, especially Humpty for some reason because that wasn't even anything I'd done, that was just a clip from Adventures of Something Like the Hedgehog <laughs> and that just got... That just escalated really fast, and I don't know why. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. That that's gonna be discarded. I don't want to do a schedule thing because that's restricting me as well. Because I was I was talking to someone about this before, and I was saying like, is having a schedule on YouTube a good thing? And they said um they said it's not good in terms of subscribers because usually people won't subscribe if you've got a schedule and they know that schedule because then if it gets to like three o'clock on a Friday, people will just go to the MP Carlson channel. They won't need to subscribe and get an email when they upload a video because they'll know when they upload a video. And I was just thinking, well, yeah, but I don't really care about the the number of subscribers I care more about the support from people and whether they're there or not no matter how they get there but then I was just thinking no because it, it's not because then it's gonna get to the it's gonna get to the the point where it's like Thursday and I'm like I don't have a video prepared for Friday and I'm rushing to stressing just to make a stupid video just for the sake of getting a video out on Friday which I know you guys don't really care about <laughs> I mean, some of you might like it, some of you might like the fact that you know when there's going to be a new video on this channel, but I'm sure most of you really don't care. You're very patient with me, and you're very appreciative of when I upload things. And you're like, and yeah, because like when I was working on the 1K and I was like given all these teasers, people were saying like, you don't need to rush this, you don't need to set any kind of deadline, we can wait as long as you need. And I realise that now, and I realise that I don't need to just keep rushing to give you guys stuff. I can just do it when I want, and I realised I've been sat really far away from the microphone for a while. Yeah, so I'm not doing the schedule thing anymore, and everything's just going to be a lot more free, a lot more random. I mean, yes, I may still manage to get a video out every week, but if I, I'm not going to be just stressing just to get a video out every week. I mean, I might still work at a pace where I do get a video out every week, but that's I'm not going to do it because I want a video out every week. And I didn't mean for this video to go on so long for me to just go on a huge speech about all these types of things. Yeah, it was just meant to be a video where I just said like a couple, or just like took a couple minutes just to say what's going to be happening in 2016. But uh, I'm actually glad that this video has turned out to be something kind of philosophical, I suppose. Well, not really philosophical, but you know what I mean. I, I don't know a better word than philosophical. I mean to describe this. But what I'm trying to say is, um, no, I'm not trying to say anything. Shut up. Okay, I'm just going to end the video here because I've gotten all my points across. You guys understand all the reasoning behind it, why I think it's a good idea, why I think it will help me and it will help everyone on the channel. And it will just be a really nice place and people from all different genres of YouTube can come over here and enjoy the stuff I create no matter what it is. And I know people aren't going to like everything and that's fine, you can like what you like. It's not, it's not up to me to force you to like the other things, but some of you will give the other types of videos a shot, some of you won't, that's fine, I don't care. I, uh, I just think this is going to be a, a good year. I do. 2016, it will be a good year. I mean, 2015 has been a good year for me. It's been, it's been, a, it's been a very good year. I've, I've excelled so much this year. I've made loads of good videos. And I don't just mean like the, the two main ones, Crustacean Resurrection, Redemption, and Five Nights at Foster's. All the other ones in between have been so appreciated by you guys and all the things that have happened this year. And it's just, it's been a really nice first year. And I, I say it's the first year. I mean, I did start August 2014, but it's really felt like 2015, this has been my first year, and the second year is going to be so much better, there's going to be so much new stuff, and I'm really, really excited about it, and I hope you guys are too. So, I'm just going to end the video here, and I'm just going to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I doubt there's many people of you who are actually watching this on Christmas Day, you're probably very busy on Christmas Day. Well, you might not be, you might be watching it on Christmas Day, but you'll probably be watching it on Boxing Day or possibly New Year's Day. But where, whenever you're watching it, whether it be like June 2016 or or July of 2020. I don't care when you're watching this. <laughs> I just want you to know that I'm appreciative that you have watched this, watched it all the way through. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and Happy whatever holiday it is whenever time you're watching this. Now, I'm really looking forward to Christmas. I'm really, really in the festive spirit this year and I'm really happy about that. And I hope you guys are too. I mean, it's okay if you're not, you know, it's up to you whether you want to be or not, but I really am. I'm really, really happy that I got it. That was, that was um, the sound of me, um, slapping my knees really really fast okay just in case any of you thought that was another noise okay let's end the video here Merry Christmas and goodbye click 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 click